welcome to Live with Sam Ford. For this week's show, we are broadcasting all the way over down in Cornwall from Falmouth University. Now, to begin our show, I'd like to just talk about this. Now, uh, as many students know, this is essential to university life. Inside, we have some bread, we have some eggs, uh, we have some cider, even. Um, but now, I wonder what you could do with this shopping bag if you got drunk with said cider. Well, earlier this week, I met up with local student James Wilson and things got a bit messy. Let's take a look. Hello guys, and you join me out here with my good friend James. And we are outside the soft building and we're about to play a very special game. Here we have some questions that we're gonna ask each other. Now, we call this egg roulette because we have some hard boiled eggs here and we also have some raw eggs that will go everywhere. If one of us gets them wrong, then we have to smash two eggs against our head. If we get them right, then we only have to do one, but either way, we're gonna be smashing eggs on our face. Ringo Starr narrates which beloved children's TV series? Oh, uh, uh, oh my God, it's not. No, it's not Mr. Tank, I don't know. Yes, it exactly. is. Oh my, oh my god. Well done, high five <laughs> it. High five, yeah. That's it's pretty a, impressive. So, so, so you only have to do one. Uh, oh, okay. pick well. Okay, all right, okay. Bake well. <laughs> all okay. right, okay. three, two, one. Oh, oh no. Uh, oh god, okay. In Israel on Saturday, it's illegal to do what? Um, sing. <laughs> no, oh. good answer though, pick your nose. Really? really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay, okay. Six, six. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, I think you got lucky. Wow, think. okay. Oh. oh, I smell good. <laughs> oh, for <laughs> That was good. Is a Jaffa cake a cake or a biscuit? Oh, it's the famous. It's a cake. That's correct. <laughs> As established in uh, 1991, J.C. I also knew that. Fact. Just didn't want to say fact. it. Me too. The more you know. Um, so just the one. Just the one, yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh mate, it's all in your head. <coughs> if someone from Glasgow says, "Geez, I winch," what does he want from you? Say it again. Um, <laughs> not geez. <laughs> Giz a wi no. Giz a winch. <laughs> Gizzle winch. If someone says Gizzle winch, Gizzle winch. Gizzle winch, matey. A kiss. I'll give you that. It was a French kiss. A yeah. French kiss. Yeah. How go. did you know that? That's kind of. <laughs> well. That's kind of impressive. Scottish, so he's probably Scottish. Oh, fair in enough. Mind, fair <laughs> enough. Well, that's for you. Yeah. Okay. So one anyway. The final egg. The final egg. It's kind of emotional. Final egg. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh, oh that is a. Lovely parting gift. And the winner is, after calculating the results, James. Get in. Get in. Told you. No. And I, I had a feeling I'd win. Um, but. Still a bit like it though. <laughs> but I had great fun. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I did. I did. Hard yeah. work creates winners, Incredible. as yeah. we've seen from this. Yeah. Back to the studio now. I know, yeah. Um, so, being down in Cornwall this week, the team and I have realised that there is nothing more important than a Cornish pasty. So, we decided to show Falmouth how much we love their pasties, and here to talk us through what we got up to is local student and well-known practical joker, joker, Callum Kitts, everybody. Hey, how's, it going? how's it going, mate? You all right? Yeah, good, thank you. Good, good. Um, now... We're about to show a little prank that you yeah. actually got up to with me this week. Yeah. Uh, just walk us through. What so sort of uh, basically, the practical joke is based on the kids' TV show uh, Dick and Dom, the Bungalow. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they do a game called Bogies, and uh, that's I know it well. th that's the game that inspired me to become yeah. a practical joker. 
and uh, it's one that me and my friends have been doing for years. Since yeah. we, since and it's stuck with up. you ever since you yeah. started watching Dragon it, Dawn. It's a uh, quite a common game for us to play, actually. Mm. And uh, I thought, as it's your first time here, you might. We thought we'd might uh, yeah. get you in on a bit of a Cornish game. Wow, it was um, <laughs> it was an experience to say the least. So uh, let's let's take a look at let's it. Do it. Get on my beauties, we're today playing a bloody game of pasties. Now, if you don't know what it is, back in the days of good old Dick and Dom, we used to go around and play a game of bogeys. But well, we're here today putting a Cornish bloody spin on it, boys. Are we ready? Get on. Cheers and gone. Let's do it. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Pasties. Oh, Callum comes in there with a solid 0.3. Could hardly hear it. They're walking down the street, and this is the very first episode in Falmouth of Pasties. Sam Don't looks like he was going to go in for a big one. Pasties. Oh, and it's a solid 0.5 there, and you can see on the secret camera the audience. Pasties! And Callum comes in there with a 2.1. Oh, the crowd cannot believe it. Sam cannot believe it. Pasties! The replay, you can see it's a solid score there. Pasties! And Callum comes in and tops it straight away with Every a 2.4. <laughs> Sam's building up. Go on, What's he going to go for? Pasties! That's a it. solid 4.8 yeah. there. And we got a great <laughs> reaction. Pasties are delicious, <laughs> especially from Cornwall. Callum looks like he's building up for a good one. Like What's he going to do? So are we, Sam. Pasties! And that's a solid score. That's a 5.9. Sam's building up. Sam's composing. What's he going to do? He's having a little dance. <laughs> Must be part of his composure. He's walking up the road. Pasties! And it's an 8.9 there Pasties! from Sam. See on the replay, it's a Pasties! And Callum comes in straight away. You can see it's a solid 10. Pasties! The guy in the hoodie cannot believe his eyes or his ears. It's a solid score. I'm done. I'm done. And that is <laughs> game. Done. Callum wins with Hi a solid guys, 10. So, uh, I think, oh, window. I think we've uh, pretty much decided there that Callum was the winner. I think. Get on my beauties. I mean, I don't think I got quite loud enough. We can check the pasty, pastyometer. <sighs> pasty decibel reader. I think. Well good, game. good game, good game. I mean, it is your game. But good game well of pasties there. Still good undefeated game. champion. Yep, I feel Bringing the Cornish heritage oh, back to what it window. is. Um, <sighs> yeah, got a bit hairy near the end when there were loads of people. But <sighs> well, right. thank you so for tuning in yeah. to Live with Sam Ford with me, the Cornish legend. Exactly. And obviously your host, Sam Ford, here. And we'll see you. Back to the studio now, and Callum and I are going to have a little chat about it. Cheers and gone. Well, it was a good game, good game. It was, it was. Well, obviously, congratulations to Callum. Undefeated champion. Who clearly won that. Yeah, um, yeah well, obviously, you are the professional here. Well, You've I had lots of experience. Uh, yeah, experienced player. I mean, I guess you do this for television. Yeah. So, you are the expert among us. Well, Let, like, talk, talk about um, sort of the stuff you've got up to in the past. So... Uh, me and my friends Derek, Paul, John, and our cameraman Roberto. Okay. We uh, we started off as a YouTube channel, uh, just going around doing like little mm. minor jokes with like a. Um, have you seen those ones where it's like, uh, you've got nice balls, and then they pull out a bag of marbles? Oh of right, yeah, yeah. We started off doing that, and uh, we progressively got more and more uh, in depth. Yeah. And uh, and then we got offered a TV slot, wow. late night on Channel Four. Joker's TV, yeah, if yeah. you haven't seen it, shameless plug, check it out. And I guess that really shows yeah. that you can make it big yeah. on YouTube and, and then um, go into TV. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's sort of our underdog story, yeah. we like to call yeah. it. Um, oh. And we just expanded through. And well, uh, that's, that's yeah. very inspiring for any uh, young practical jokers out there yeah, who good are fun. Uh, it's good fun. looking forward to you know, doing that. Um, we, we, you've told us uh, in the past that you've done stuff with things like wet fishes. Yeah, so the wet fish story goes as um, we started off and basically it was called Blame the Guy. Mm. And uh, 
we would run up behind someone, and for this uh, instance in the charity episode, uh, we ran up behind people and hit them with a, just a little, just a little thing, yeah. like a little yeah. mackerel. Were people getting annoyed at that? Or? Oh, yeah, definitely. We, uh, really? we got shut down by the police a couple Did of times. Did you? Yeah, because, um, uh, but then when people found out, like, their reactions were brilliant, because yeah. it was raw, like, wow. anger. But then once they found out it was for charity, yeah, yeah, it was like yeah. a charity prank show. It wow, was, um, I'm it sure that did very well. Uh, and we raised a lot of money that day. Um, well, thank you very much, Callum. Yeah, thank you. Now, if it's all right with you, we'd like to play a little game to end the show. Favourite part of uh, the show. It sounds, um, it sounds um, good. It's called Accent Beer Pong accent without the beer. Accent Beer Pong yeah. without the beer. Yeah, and okay. now the, the rules are very simple. Over on this table over here, we have Beer Pong set up, but there's no beer. Um, all we got to do is throw the ping pong ball into the cups. If you get it in, you get a point. But if you miss, it means you have to take an accent out of the, the magic accent cup and uh, do that for the duration of the show, unless you uh, get a different accent later on. So uh, let's, go on, let's go on over to the table. Now, as you're the guest, Callum, uh, it's only fair you should go I first. Uh, do you want to hold my balls? Yeah, I would love to. My ping pong balls before anyone asks. Takes that the wrong way. Oh, stretch. Right, here we go. Oh, no. Bit over, here's wasn't the, it? Here's the accent cup right, with so all the accents just, in there. Give it a bit of a shake. Mm -hmm. I want this one. What have I got here? I got Scottish. Mm. Scottish. I just, just claim it, I suck at accents. <laughs> Scottish. Oh, boom. That's how I want the show to uh, to stay up. tonight. There you're you go. There you up. go. That's not even Scottish. I like that. That's that's how that's, that's how it's going to be. No, for me it'd be better points. if I missed so I could get a different accent. But uh, this is not even Scottish. Anymore. Sounds a bit Irish to me. I know. Is that just me? Oh, we, you can't get another I, accent now, I, unfortunately. I, Thank you, Ryan. Uh, I'm one nil done. What have I got here? I got French. En français. Uh, you got the. Th I'm just not even French. Oh wow. I'm on a roll today. I'm on a roll. We've had a few goes at this already to get today, guys. And um, I was winning. This is the best. I'm liking this. Let's keep it that way. I just got another one. It's two 0 And my accents are just not even accents anymore. Thank you. Scas. Scas. How do you do scas? D. Scas. Lake. Like Liverpool. Liverpool. That, those are the Liverpool. only words I can do in it, though. From Liverpool. Oh! How are you oh! Three yes! Yes! How are you oh three my god! Because, I don't know. You are 3 0 up. It's a bit ha. of a fix, really, isn't ha. it? How are you 3 0 up? There we go. Oh. 3 1. Fair three enough. One. Fair enough. 3 1. I'll just. 3 1. Oh, oh no. Okay. Oh, it's right. Okay. Here we go. What is this? Northern. I can't do up. Northern. I'm three um, nil up and you've got to no speak Northern. Um, why I man? Geordie Shaw. No, that's a bit <laughs> cringy, isn't it? Oh, no. Yeah, just a little bit, mate. Just a little why bit. Ant and De no. Does that count? That does not count. Does that count? Another accent. Because it was in there. No, you've got to pick the another ball accent. Went in the club. Come on. I think it should count, that one. What have I got in? Are you still doing scales? Donald Trump. That's not Donald Trump, mate. What, what does Donald Trump sound like? <laughs> he's, he's American. I'm going to build a wall. I'm going to build a wall across the... You've got to keep it up. You've got to keep it up. Oh, I miss one. Walls, but luckily, it's the end of the show. I'm going to build a You beat me at pranking, Callum, but this is definitely we weren't on this it. game. Um, so, yeah, I'm afraid that's all we have time for today, guys. I'd like to give a massive thank you to my guests, James Wilson and Callum Kitts, everybody. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> on next week's show, we will be live from Exeter University, and we'll see you all next week. See you then. Goodbye.